Hey everyone, welcome back to Christy's channel. This is Gen XO Plans and I'm doing a process video of a scrapbook layout for the Planner Society design team. And I'm just starting out with some white cardstock. Thank you, honey. And I am using some Prima watercolors and this is the pastel set. So right here, I'm just doing the packaging technique with the watercolors. I just take some watercolor and put it on a piece of plastic and then I add some water and then I smush it onto the paper and then now I'm taking my paintbrush and I'm getting a little bit of watercolor on my brush and then I just want big paint splatters all over the paper so I'm just tapping the, the paintbrush so that I get big pink paint splatters. <laughs> I hope you get the idea. I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to get my die cut. This is a really intricate die cut by Memory Box. I think it's called English Roses or something like that. It's really, really pretty. So I have a metal magnetic shim in there and I run it through the die cutting machine a couple of times because it's very intricate. And um, so it's kind of hard to cut through, but the magnetic shim works really well. Sorry if you can hear my baby. <laughs> And I accidentally ripped it, but that's okay because I was probably going to cut it apart anyway to um, put it on both sides of my photo. So I just cut out a couple of pieces from the pattern paper from the kit. And this the, pa the paper from this kit is just absolutely gorgeous. You get six sheets. Um, there are three, well, there are six, Wait, let me start again. There are three different patterns. They're both double-sided papers and they're eight and a half by 11 papers. And the patterns are so beautiful. She always has floral patterns, which are my favorite. I love florals. And um, I went ahead and went with this blue wood grain with black hearts. And then I'm taking some of the washi and I'm just going to layer that on top. So I am using the January Planner Society Kit and the Washi Kit. Um, I just love the washi that comes in this kit. They're so pretty. Um, the signups sign -ups for the kits are from the 2nd through the 14th of the month. And January and February kits are all sold out. Just wanted to mention that. So that washi that I'm placing down right there actually matches the pattern paper down at the bottom in the left-hand corner, and it's so cute. I just love it. It's that blue wood grain, and I love that black and white houndstooth. Well, I guess that's not really houndstooth. It's more like a buffalo check, I guess. And I'm just going to take my photo, and I'm just going to mat it with a couple of the pattern papers, and I love this picture. It's a 4x4 four four of my daughter, of my newborn, and my middle daughter, and they were on the bed together, and um, she was looking up at her, and I guess she's only two weeks right now, but I think that she's starting to see faces that are really close to her, and I think she was looking up at her sister, and it was just such a cute moment. I really loved it. So now I am just taking my photo and I am um, putting it up on a little bit of foam adhesive so it just has a little bit of di dimension and um, it's not completely flat on the layouts. And then I'm going to layer the die cut that I'm, the fr English roses, the die cut in the background. I love the white on white. It's like my favorite. but. I did want it to pop a little bit, so I just added, that's why I wanted to put a little bit of paint in the background. I love these puffy stickers from the kit, and I'm also going to pick out some die cuts. I'm taking, I'm taking my word stamps, and um, I have a ton of word stamps, like from Becky Higgins, Dear Lizzie, um, and I'm just going to make a line there, and I'm just going to stamp a bunch of word phrases there and then I'm going to figure out my clusters I think I'm just going to keep it simple and not do a lot of a huge cluster just a couple of die cuts here and there sorry my children are playing in the background <laughs> they're being a little bit loud sorry if you can hear that um, so I'm going to adhere my photo down 
and then I save you from watching me adhere the English roses because that's a little tedious. I love this little swan, this puffy sticker swan, so I decided to use the heart and the puffy sticker because I just thought they were so cute. So now I'm working on my title and I am going to use these phrase puffy thickers sorry that's my baby um by amy tangerine and i choose the phrase i love right now and in the process i actually move over the i love part to the right but then in the end after i stop filming i move it back over to the left so that it's more of a diagonal uh, next to the washi it looks so much better but i did take a picture for you at the end so you can see how that turned out and I like it so much better that way. So that is my layout for the design team. I hope you guys enjoyed this process video. Um, thanks so much for watching and give us a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. I will leave some links below to Scarlet Lime and to my Instagram account so you can see um, where I post more photos of my projects from the kit. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>